Wow. Well, there's one of us. Um, how long ago did that kill? Did that cancel out? <laughs> Told you. Told you I get wrapped up in it. What happened? Did we break the? What happened? Oh my gosh. Did it kick you guys halfway through the song? Did you hear the Pink Floyd part? That was a weird thing. Dang, dude. Mm. Apparently, Bukla broke the internet. For those that are into that. Kelly, are you by any chance in here? Instagram fucked up. So here's the cool thing. I, um, sometimes you can get too familiar with something that you used to love. And a lot of times you have to find a new way and a new approach for it to become fresh and new again. And, um, sometimes it's as simple as just changing it up just a little bit. So here's, um, here's a song, an old song for me. Maybe new for you, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into your business. Um, but I literally just thought I would change it up just a little bit.
There it is, I figured out. It's alright if you're afraid. It's alright if you don't know what to say. Cause your light is burning now Don't let it fade away Hey, hey Tell me how you feel Cause your light is burning now Don't let it fade away Hey, hey Tell me how you feel. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, dude, better turn than Trump. Better anyway than Trump. Post comes around this time. Um, good, uplifted Philip Holden. This one, that's what I'm wanting to do, man. That's what these are for. Dude, I can bring you down real quick, but um, if I can bring you up. I don't think there's any trip tunes on Spotify. We were we were pre-Spotify. Um, so you think I'm gonna share the full neck and frame? I can do my best. It's hard. I ne ne we'll work on that next time. Yeah, brother. Um What else? What else can we do? In about 10 minutes. Oh, can I play Afterglow? On piano. And that boy's out of commission right now. Oh yeah, dude. I need him. That's. I'll do some. We'll do some. Yeah. Another one that uh, went through many iterations, uh, and then this is the other one. Moon Alchemist. Uh, stand to stand tuned. Stand by. Stay tuned. Stand tuned. I stand with tuned. I don't know, man. <laughs> In about 10 minutes, we're going to go live with um, Wayne and uh, Mr. Spiker, who's going to be the mixer for Breathe, and uh, kind of give you a little update what's going down. Put the needle down. The 
as I bow my head to pray May those verses that we say Fall at once to my lips This is our religion This is our religion Put the needle down Cool. Um, I want to. I can't remember who asked for a, um, what we lost in the fire. I want. I want to hold off on that one because I want so badly to do that, like kind of full blondies. Maybe, maybe I'm just scared to do it acoustic. I don't know. Let me wrestle with that a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys are cool, man. Is there another one that I kind of like? As the week goes by, I think I think about you guys. I think about you often, um, and I just kind of think about like what, what would be fun to play. Because what I normally would do is stand right here facing that way. And I would just go through the the winner to the Yabby set. Um, and I, I kind of like brushing off the dusting off. Well, I think you brush and then dust comes off. Um, I don't know. Depends on what you're using. Depends on how dusty it is, too. Maybe you don't use a brush. Maybe like a, a, a cloth, like a soft cloth so you don't streak it or scratch it. Um, but I like to dust off tunes because like, man, I haven't thought about that one in a long time. Halo Eyes... No. The world was on fire and no one could see me. Strange where desire will make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. No, I.
one of the greatest songs. One of the sexiest songs. Ugh. Woof. Woof. Um, okay. So. Carla Pellicari. Stay diligent. It'll happen. Um, I need to add Mr. Wayne G. Miller into the fold. Um, where is he? Yeah. Wayne G. Miller, give me a request real quick. Boop. I'm going to get right with the one and only Wayne G, the ultimate dad pun guy. All right. <laughs> Yay, dude. Um, wait, is it weird? Are you, can you, like, not see me now? Can you play for your... <laughs> wait, what was the joke? Oh, was that was that a Wayne Brady joke? I, I think it was a way, Wayne Brady. Uh, a Brady McCown. <laughs> uh, probably. A Wayne Brady, that's what it is. If you put the two of you guys together. Wayne Brady Wayne, McGowan. <laughs> Wayne Brady McGowan. I think he said, well, but I thought he was quoting you when he said, what is more popular, the song Free Bird or the phrase play Free Bird? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you hear more of? <laughs> that was me, for sure. What do you think people are more familiar with? Play Free Bird <laughs> or... Um, so uh, I just kind of take this, this last little bit of time here on, on, on this Sunday. Uh, to talk about, for those who may not know anything about this, about two weeks ago, I think, yeah. um, uh, a little over two weeks ago, I sat down at that piano, um, maybe three weeks, I sat down at that piano, looked at that window, and just something that doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's it's typically pretty cool. Uh, this song just came, uh, just fl flowed right through me, uh, called Breathe. And it was started off of a challenge that I had put forward to you guys, which was that this was an amazing time to create art, but you have to share it. Um, and I hadn't done that yet. So I decided I'm going to share this. And so I put it out there on Instagram. And then I sat down with Wayne and John Titterington, and I was like, hey, do you guys want to help me with this? Cut two. after a couple of weeks of being very, very diligent, very, very patient on everybody's, uh, on everybody's side. We sent this song out in various forms all over, literally all over the world. And we're now up to, I think we're had a, we have about a hundred people uh, that are participating in this song in one form or another. Some people are playing instruments, some people are singing, some people are mixing. We're gonna talk to him in just a second. Um, I'm assuming that's still happening, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, just wanna make sure he's like, nah, he's out. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so we wanted to kind of just let you guys know, this is one of my favorite parts of the process because you write the song, you record the song, and then ultimately you mix the song and then you get to release the song. So we're at that penultimate phase of uh, mixing the song before we release. Um, and I haven't heard this version. I don't know if he's even begun to start, but I thought you guys might enjoy at least understanding where we're at in the process. And for those of you who participated, um, what we're doing with your stuff. Uh, so why don't, can we bring in Spiker to this? How do we do yeah, that? He said he's watching. I just sent him a text. So uh, let's see. Uh, I'll have him request. Let's see if you can, uh, let's see if we can do all three. Can, do you add to yours? Because I don't have another face that I can add. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if he can do it. If not, I'll, uh, I'll hop off and he can take over. How do you do this? Come on. Someone's going to, Tell us how to do it on here, probably. Can you do three people at once? I thought you could, but maybe not. Uh, let's see. Oh, he said he sent request. That's weird. I don't want to show that picture. That's bizarre. <laughs> What's happening right now? What's going on? There we go. Put that up. What in the, what in the wide, wide world is picture in picture? What is going on? We do like a news station. That's cool. How, there we Drawing go. Up, Just go back to me. Scrolling back up two oh only two apparently oh okay only two skis all right well here we go i guess i'll i guess i'll hop off and, and spiker takes over okay cool um thank you wayne G. miller um keep watching and commenting uh you can probably correct me if i say stuff that i'll uh, absolutely get wrong so all right i'm gonna get you out of here bye 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 okay uh, what's it wait what's his what's his, what's uh, his boy name? boy johnny boy johnny yeah that would have been very helpful to have all right boy johnny bye Bye. There you go. Okay, removing Wayne Miller. Bear with it by Wayne. And now let's go ahead and add in Boy 
boy Johnny. Boy Johnny, there he is. Okay, uh, should be with her waiting for her boy Johnny, otherwise known as John Spiker, who I've never met before. Super excited. It looks like we're connecting. Dude, oh, yes! bandana, bandana. Yes, You're just speaking my language, man. Um, greetings, man. What's up? Dude, I, I am, I'm really excited uh, to meet you, as I'm sure you know, but I don't know if you guys watching know this. Uh, pretty much every night for the last two weeks, um, Wayne and I, uh, I, would, I would come in here to my studio, Wayne would be at his studio, yeah. and from about the hours of like 10 o'clock till sometimes 1 o'clock in the morning, we would just go through this song. Um, and we were, what we were trying to do was make it as easy <laughs> for you to do your job. Yeah. Uh, so John, kind of fill in people what like what your part of the process is and, and kind of where you're at with it. Yeah, so generally I sit in a in a lonely, sad, dark room by myself. Like most of so, us. Uh, oddly, not too much has changed uh, for how <laughs> a lot of things usually are. It's generally pretty lonely and depressing here. But, uh, but yeah, and then uh, people, you know, send a song like where you guys are at, where you're done recording all of the parts and you say, okay, we don't want to add anything. We've added all we're going to add. And then stuff comes to me. And then um, basically it's my job to go through each individual part and find a place for it and kind of mix it, you know, levels so that it, everything gets heard in the right way and do uh, EQ and pannings and all that stuff. And, uh, so yeah, it's you know, holy crap! Look at that gorgeousness. Uh, this stuff and stuff and and I just uh, sit here and kind of it's it's kind of a fascinating thing because like you said, you guys have had so many people involved in this, and uh, it's kind of fun to sort of be to have to kind of now take all of those different things and pull them together and uh, yeah, try to make space for everything. So. How many how many tracks are you starting off with? First of all, do you know? Uh, look, I have the session open right now, and it's a big one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna just guess. I'm looking at somewhere in the vicinity of. I mean, let me see. How do I flip Show this? Flip it ease. So holy is, crap! This is all the tracks. <laughs> It's a big boy. Oh my I, gosh, dude! I kind of love that because you know it's a it's a complex puzzle. It's kind of a fun you know problem to solve. What do you typically like to start? Like, do you do you just um, do you in order to kind of preserve this the 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 sanity of your mind? Do you have to like <laughs> literally just stop and go? Okay, all I'm going to hear is the drums. Do you listen to the track and then whatever jumps out at you the most you start? How do you how do yeah. you start to mix? The first thing I start with is, um, you know, Wayne has sent and, and this this is always kind of the best way is like just the way you guys were listening to it when you finished it and said, OK, this is ready. I'll listen to it in that state a bunch of times just to kind of get familiar with how the song sounds and how cool. you guys are hearing it. And uh, and then really the process is then I start to take it out of like Pro Tools, which is what it's recorded in. And I send it out to a lot of equipment. Outward gear. Like, yeah, like the, I have a mixing console here, like old 70s Neve that I send stuff out to. So there's a lot of like busy work of just prepping stuff, of getting things sent to all their places. Most and everybody... <laughs> Most everybody who knows that like is, is, is watching right now knows. I think even someone said Gearhead Troy activated. Uh, uh, <laughs> you, Dude, you, don't, you don't have to sweep over that. You can like really, really go into that. So I, I see some stressors there to your left. What 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 all what all are you rocking outboard gear wise? Like let's let's show me the sexy. All right. Apologies ahead of time, everyone. This is gonna get really, really exciting. Super really nerdy. Cool. So this Oh hello is, knees. Uh, this is mid seventies uh, Neve console, which sounds really good, um, and it's just kind of I, I usually end up putting all the drums through that guy, okay, and uh, bass and sometimes vocals, but then I'll also sum through this, meaning all the tracks yeah. kind of end up going to that thing to get squished together. Um, then oh my this, god, this guy, this blue guy here is kind of like vocal magic tube like it it just does wonderful things this is 1176 
And uh, this is some gear made by this guy, Jeff Turzo, this company, Overstare. And I think I have a lot of his stuff. This uh, this is a piece of his gear, and that's a piece of his gear. It's like this mad scientist who builds stuff in his garage here in uh, over in Studio City. Is that an LA three A that I see there too? So this is it's an L. Uh, this is an LA two A. Oh, LA two A. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it, but it's made by this company, Anthony Demaria. So it's kind of their take on it. But the exact same thing: optical compressor. And yeah, twenty five hundred. What is 500? that? Five hundred. Yep, twenty five hundred. And then this is some weird kind of like S. This is this old Ashley SC fifty, which just makes things sound terrible in a really good way. <laughs> right uh, on. And then, uh, and then, yeah, uh, rocking some of these Helios Five. guys and uh, some SSL stuff and some more API. But yeah, and then, uh, so is that is a fifty-two kind of... Telly? I'm just on the ground, just just like chilling, chilling, chilling. Oh. Um, but yeah, then uh, amps and stuff in that room, and then uh, down the hallway here is just sort of like stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh my um, god, dude! Quarantine is not good for if you have an eBay habit. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so it's just kind of like lots of stuff. Um, but you know, usually it's not. A lot of the times, it's not just me here because when I'm not mixing stuff, I'm uh, also like you know uh, engineering records and doing that kind of thing. So sometimes what? there's actual people here helping me use this stuff. But what do uh, you what do you listen through? Like what do you Oh, here you go. What do I uh, see there? These guys are Focal SM9s, mm -hmm. um, which uh, I really dig. And then I've uh, got the pair of the oh, Hogwarts. And, and then uh, I have a pair of NS10s that kind of I put up like sometimes if uh, I'm feeling like I'm kind of lost uh, in a mix or something, I'll put up a different set of speakers to sort of like gear them in a different way. Um, and then sometimes I'll set up another set of speakers in the studio. Like um, sometimes I'll set up a set of speakers in this little tiny ISO back here. I have a set of speaker stands kind of sitting there um, and I'll go in there and literally just sit down and listen to music. Cool. And listen to a mix in there because, you know, we're all listening to stuff in different ways and different places. And so I try to like, as I'm working on stuff, hear it in a bunch of different places so that you know i'm trying to change up the the scene i hear you is the song in anywhere state i mean a lot of times it's like taking unfortunately it and unfortunately right it out. Now i'm in the process of getting it all sent out to gear and stuff uh, yeah so unfortunately if i hit play it makes no sound right now but uh kick ass uh, by, <laughs> it sounds awesome about, i would say by eight o'clock or nine o'clock tonight uh it'll be loud in here right on so. um well i i'm anxious to to get you into that space because there's nobody that wants to hear the song more than me the, the, uh and i, I want you to feel like you have time here, uh, i've been loving sitting here listening to it i think people are gonna freak it, it's really good cool man now one thing i talked about with wayne i wanted to make sure that i'm not putting you on the uh uh the hook for this yeah, but would it be possible once you're done mixing to make the stems available to everyone so that whoever is watching and whoever wanted to could do their own remix of this? Of course, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I that that kind of stuff's so fun. Um, I love when bands do that cool. because yeah, it's it's you know everyone hears stuff their own way, so it's cool. It's always cool to hear somebody's interpretation of something that you may have never thought of or i agree that was the whole purpose of us doing this song was to literally yeah. take an idea that i had and get as many people and get their smudgy fingerprints all over this and yes. it really, the song has evolved so i mean spiker you're you're a you're part of that creative process right now so you have your own fingerprint that you're going to put on this yeah it's not about just like re-representing what we've already done it's about taking right. it from one place and moving it on to another yeah, absolutely. But but yeah, I think uh, that'll be great when we're uh, once we get this thing put together. I I think that's a great idea is to get get stems of this, Please. you know, out to, out there. So for sure, yeah, for sure. Um, well, I'm gonna let you get into it. I'll see if I can't check back with you uh, with you to, later on tonight. See how loud it's gotten. Uh, yeah, it's cool to finally meet you. <laughs> right back at you, man. I'm I'm honored to uh, be a part of this. Thank you, cool. man.
Yeah. Get into it. We'll talk to you later. Awesome. Bye, Internet. Cheers. So that's it, man. Um, you guys, I, I wanted to try to give you like a little bit of a, of a teaser for it. But uh, uh, yeah, it, people are saying this, like your fingerprints are all over this song. Look, we're going to do this thing together, right? Um, and the, we're in isolation right now. Um, but the whole point of me doing this song, the whole point of me doing this is showing you guys and reminding myself that even if we're isolated and we're separate, we're still connected. And we have to now find new ways to connect. Um, and for most of you, you've heard me say this all the time, is to stay safe and to stay healthy, but to stay connected. Um, so, these are Sundays. Maybe it'll change. Hopefully it'll evolve and it'll grow. But for right now, I'm just kind of content to stand in front of my or sit in front of my phone with a guitar and play songs for those that want to listen or talk about music. I think what I want to do in the next week, I'm going to find out for sure. I would love to start bringing in other people. Um, it's possible to do it on this. That'd be great. We, we may only be able to do one other person, but uh, I've got some things in the works. It's not always going to be just this. Um, but the thing you can always count on is the fact that there will be Stripe Socks. Stripe Sock Radio, after all. Um, anything I should do before we go? I'm waiting. All right, cool. You guys go out and get your own Stripe Socks. Be the Stripe Socks. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Can I play that one? I wake up in the morning glow. I have never felt this pure for your eyes so green today as a hand on every word you say you will always love me so and I know that you will never let me go I I died today, I did not lose my soul, only lost my self-control. Stay connected.